Namaste friends, welcome to my yoga space. My name is Yogi Aaron and I'm a muscle specialist as well as a master yoga teacher. This is my home in Costa Rica, Blue Osa Yoga Retreat and Spa, and I hope that one day you'll come and practice yoga with me here. Today I wanna to talk about the hamstrings. And one of the things that people are really fascinated about is how to fix their tight hamstrings. Well, the biggest problem with tight hamstrings uh, well, the biggest problem um, in the way that people are dealing with their tight hamstrings is by constantly stretching them. Stretching doesn't work. It actually creates more instability. The reason why your hamstrings are tight is because your body senses instability. It senses instability because other muscles are not doing their job, so it tells the hamstrings, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up, to create more stability. You can think about like when your body tightens up, if you walk on ice, there's a protective mechanism. The body starts to tighten up as a protective mechanism, a way of protecting itself. So what we want to do from a muscle activation perspective, or more specifically an applied yoga anatomy and muscle activation perspective, is begin melting the ice in the body. We want to start to deal with the source of the instability. So what we're going to do is start off by testing our hamstrings and seeing what the range of motion is. More specifically though, I want you to kind of check in with two things. One, how heavy um, the movement feels, and two, uh, is the hamstrings tight or how tight do they feel? Now if you're a real loosey-goosey kind of person, you may not feel that tightness in your hamstrings. If you are a person that has enormous amounts of flexibility, you probably already are dealing with a lot of instability. Flexible people are always usually in pain or have some sort of aches and pains. Most yoga teachers that I know um, have had some sort of uh, medical intervention because they're dealing with um, instability in certain joints in their body due to over flexibility. So what we want to do is actually improve muscle function. Keep in mind that muscles need to shorten in order to function properly. They need to shorten to move bones and to stabilize joints. In my hand, I have a TheraBand. One of the things that we're going to do is a little bit of glute med uh, activation today. And because <clears throat> glute med, um, well, specifically anterior glute med, plays an important role in hip flexion. So I've got a TheraBand here. This is a green one, which means that it's actually in the middle. So it's middle strength. Um, if you're new to this and you want to try the TheraBand, I would suggest getting one of the most lightest ones. I'm a lot stronger than most people. Not everybody, of course. And so I use the green one here. But you may want to use um, a pink one, which is, well, in the color coding that I've got is the easiest one. You just simply tie it up. It should be about 12 inches, maybe 14 inches uh, in length here, okay? Uh, we're going to use this to activate our glute meat. So for now, let's just put this on to the side. Uh, keep in mind that the hamstrings are the opposite. They are extensor muscles. So the opposite of extensor muscles are hip flexor muscles. So we really want to start to activate the hip flexors. We're going to target the rectus femoris. We're going to do a little bit of glute meat. Um, we're also going to uh, target a little bit of the quads uh, so, and the psoas. So let's see what happens as we do this. If you want to fix your tight hamstrings permanently, this is the way in. And the tight hamstrings should be telling you information that there's instability in the body. So when you feel that tightness, just remember or think to yourself, where is the instability coming from? What do I need to address? And once I address those instabilities, I can start to melt the ice in my body and free up movement. Sounds good? So what I'd like you to do is to come and lie onto your back. And the very first thing we're going to do is just test our hamstrings. So in the beginning here, just lift your right leg up. Now notice how it feels. Does it feel heavy? Does it feel kind of laden? And do the same now on the left side. Lift your left leg up. Does it feel heavy? It's probably because the muscles are not connecting to the brain and so they're not 
contracting properly. Let's see what happens once we turn the muscles on. So now I want you to test your hamstring range of, billet, range of motion. So keep the leg as straight as possible and bring the leg up as high as you can, okay? So that's actually not too bad for me. Normally I'm right about here, but today I'm right about here, so that's actually good. And I don't feel a lot of tightness in my hamstrings. And then bring this leg up. So again, just kind of check in. Now it's really cool because I'm actually filming this so I can go back and take before and after photos. Sometimes it's nice if you do those before and after photos. So <clears throat> where we're gonna start here is with our friend, the TheraBand. And you're gonna take that TheraBand and just bring it right around your ankles. Now if you don't have a TheraBand, you can use um, a strap or a belt. You can take a belt, a big belt of course. You might wanna take a couple of belts. Um, and what you're gonna do is bring the legs down. Keep the legs or the feet in neutral. So don't turn them in or turn them out. Just keep them in neutral. And then widen the legs as much as you can. And hold it there for two, three, four, five, and six, and relax. Now, if you're using a belt and you don't have a TheraBand, a TheraBand is nice, but if you're just using sort of a belt, all you're gonna do is bring the legs out and push the ankle bones, the malleolus, into the belt, okay? So just do that. Less is always more as a general rule in a yama. So let's do it again. Bring the legs out and hold for two, three, four, five, six, and relax. So one of the things about me personally is that my glute meds often don't work. Um, they're some of the weakest muscles in my body. I've worked on getting them stronger, and they are getting stronger, uh, but definitely when they're not working properly, where is the uh, body gonna start tightening up? Yeah, probably the hamstring. So it'll be interesting to see what happens after. Bring the legs out and hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back. And do it again. Bring the legs out, hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back. And do it again. Hold for two, three, four, five, six, and bring it back. And do it again. Hold for two, three, four, five, six, and bring it back. Awesome. So let's just put the TheraBand or the belt to the side for now. And let's bring the leg up. <laughs> a lot, a little bit more range of motion and less tightness in the hamstring. That's really cool. Bring the other leg up. Nice. Very good. All right. So the next one we're going to do is bring the knees over the hips. Bring the hands to the, just below the kneecap. So if you look at where the kneecap is, take the heel of your hand there and then push the knees into the hands. Hold for two, three, four, five, six, and just let the feet come down. And do it again. Press in two, three, four, five, six, and then come on back down. And do it again. Press the knees into the hands, hold for two, three, four, five, six, and come back down. And do it again. Press the knees into the hands, hold for two, three, four, five, six, and come back down. And do it again. Press in for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. And we'll do it one more time. Press in two, three, four, five, six. Straighten the legs. Retest. Woohoo! Look at me, mom. <laughs> You see what starts to happen when we get muscles working properly? 
range of motion improves, but more importantly, there's freedom in movement. There's none of that restrictive tightness that happens. All right, <clears throat> so let's get the rectus femoris now really activated here. I want you to bend the knee a little bit. Bring your uh, right hand to your right thigh and kind of think about the right foot sort of in between the left knee and the left ankle, more or less. And then you're going to straighten the leg here. And I want you to keep the hand here because I really want you to focus on engaging that right thigh. And then lower down. Bend the knee. Engage and extend the knee. Extend the leg. And feel that thigh really engage here. And then back down. Bend the knee, extend the leg, <coughs> and really feel that thigh engage and then relax the leg. Bend the knee, extend the leg, and hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. And then bend the knee, extend the leg, and hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. And bend the knee, and extend the leg, and hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Very good. Let's do the other leg now. So bend the left knee. Again, line up the toes, or line up the foot in sort of the middle of that shin bone, if you will, and then extend the leg. Hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Bend the knee, extend the leg, hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Bend the knee. Extend the leg, hold for two, three, four, five, six, and back down. Bend the knee, extend the leg, hold for two, three. Now as you're doing that, try to keep the rest of your body relaxed. So notice if you're clenching your teeth or even engaging your abs, okay? Relax, bend the knee, and then engage the leg. There you go. And then relax. So let's just retest. Bring the right leg up. Very good. Nice. And then come back down. And then bring the other leg up. I think I just got a little bit more range of motion on this leg. <laughs> okay, now let's do the psoas. So bend the knees here. And to do the psoas, <clears throat> you're going to bring the right ankle across your uh, left knee, like you would for figure, I think it's called figure four pose. You're going to bring your left hand towards the knee, and then you're going to take the knee to the heel of the hand and press the knee into the heel of the hand, and this is to activate the psoas. And hold for two, three, four, five, Six. Now, if you want to feel the psoas activate, find the tip of the as-is bone in your navel center. Bring your fingers in diagonally in the middle of that point, those two points, and then press the knee into the hand. You'll feel the psoas pop out. And then relax. And do it again. And then relax. And do it again. And relax. And do it again. And relax. And do it again.
and relax. And do it again. And relax. And do it again. And relax. So straighten the legs out. Let's retest that leg. And bring it up. Okay? So you're noticing that as we go through these, perhaps there's more freedom of movement. Why is that? Because we're melting the ice. We're dealing with the causes of the muscle tightness. As we start to activate other muscles, the hamstrings start to become more loose, quote unquote, because the body feels more stable. So let's do the other side. Bend the knees, bring the left ankle across that right knee. Bring the right hand towards the left knee. Again, if you want to locate the psoas, do the same thing on the left side and then press the knee into the hands. In two, three, four, five, six, and relax. And do it again. Two, three, four, five, six, and relax. Do it again. Two, four, five, six, and relax. And again, two, three, and relax. And do it again. And relax. And do it again. And relax. And do it again. And then relax. And one more time. And relax. Good. Straighten the legs out. Now let's bring that leg up. Okay. <laughs> It just gets easier and easier and easier, my friends. This is one of the ways that you can start to deal with your tight hamstrings and fix them permanently. When we start to stretch tight hamstrings, the tightness is always going to come back or pain will start to manifest in other ways in the body because you really haven't dealt with the problem. The problem is that muscles are not working in different parts of the body. So we really want to focus on getting those muscles working. Once those muscles are working, the body feels more stable. Once the body feels stable, the tightness disappears. Stretching a tight muscle is violating your body's own protective mechanisms. And that's not really a great way to start the day. <laughs> violating yourself. So don't violate yourself. Instead, work to supporting your muscular system to do what it's meant to do which is to move bones, AKA move yourself through life effortlessly with strength and stability, but also to support the joints of the body. So let's make it our mission to help our body do what it's meant to do so it can help us to go out to manifest and live our life purpose. Happy practicing, my friends.